happy friday everybody all right i'm back with another video last time i did a shop video on the portable mechanical hard drive that i shocked basically for those who aren't familiar with that you just peel it open and see what the hard drive in there consists of which this one was a five terabyte I picked it up on sale for $99 um, it's SATA powered five terabyte mechanical hard drive and I ended up just using it for video backup storage games or whatever I want to put on there plus I have of course for my boot system I, I use the uh, the Samsung 980 I just got that and um, the MVNE and I have a second a data on the MSI board so I've got plenty of storage and I, I don't save a lot of stuff I back it mostly up to a cloud but it was nice to have all that extra storage in a small basically the size of a an SSD but a little bit thicker because it's mechanical and of course they probably made it a little thicker because they didn't want people doing what I did and sticking it inside of a, um, a laptop but regardless today I'm here to do a video on a card I just got in and it's the um, I haven't seen any really decent videos on it it's the Asus Rogue Strix OC 67 XT gaming card um, it's kind of a semi unboxing because I did take it out of the box but we have a box the box and the case it comes with and other than that let's get to it let me get this stuff out of the way you can see I I don't know if you can see that. I picked up a little microscope. My buddy Bill, the guy that I get all my stuff from, told me about this because I had to fix a CPU and a motherboard. And believe it or not, you can get them on Amazon. I don't think they're a lot of money for what you get. It's a digital microscope. And, man it zooms right in it's pretty incredible impressive I mean you can get right in on a pin the pin head and using little a little thin razor and stuff straighten out but that's all neither here or there so we're here to do this and I thought it was going to be smaller but first thing obviously it comes with It comes with some stickers, a little pamphlet. There's no disc, of course. Hardly anybody gives disc out. Yeah, it's a little pamphlet on how to use the um, the light system in it and for the RGB and all that. And this was kind of cool. It comes with some little uh, Velcro holders little tie offs and nice they have the little gaming insignia on them Republic of Gamers oh, two of them but they came with it and of course Asus they do a fine job at let's get rid of this too Asus does a great job I noticed on the AMD on a lot of the other AMD like Sapphire and stuff they don't they're not even putting tape on their anti-static bags I am gonna do benchmarks on it but I am just gonna go over the spec so you can see it's a big it's a big card has a very nice back plate on it nice clean look 
It has the um, logo on it, the design for ASUS. This is ARGB. The whole front is all ARGB. It's a beautiful card, gorgeous. I can't wait to get my hands on a 3080. Right, this is what I want. I want to get one of these as a 3080. I know I can get a 3090. They're pretty easy to get compared to a 3080s, but they're just insane money. And I heard actually Nvidia and AMD announced that there's going to be getting tougher. It's going to be getting harder to get cards. It's crazy. Okay, so it still has all the protective stuff on it. Nice fan setup. Looks like it has some more blades on it than normal. Maybe this is just the Strix way. I haven't done a Strix before. So you have the gaming logos on each fan, left and right, and in the center you have the ROG. Down here you have a little game on. Over here again. Up here, it's got some nice little metal screws holding a plastic cover on it. On this side, what a beautiful job they did making the fins and heat sink. Gorgeous. Nice separator, a nice plate in there. Yeah, they did an outstanding job. Asus does pay attention to what they're doing. Um, and you can remove your plastic there. It has two 8-pin connectors. I noticed on some of them, they're actually coming through with an 8 and a 6. Strange. Okay, onward to the front of this. I was going to zoom in, but I'll just show ya. Or maybe I can zoom in a little bit. Right over here. Let's look at the back. See the little power BIOS mode? It's in the center. The center is pretty much standard setting. Probably set for, I don't know, game mode would be all the way over to what I would call I don't know if you want to call this the front this the front whatever but anyways towards the plate you're gonna have power mode in the center I'm pretty sure that's where you can go in and do your own settings all the way over here I think that's probably the silent mode Let's take a closer look. Q mode and P mode, okay. And they did a nice job. That's a little different. Usually they cover this up, but they did a nice job. You can see their solder and it's very clean. Again, you can see that little bio switch right there. Myself, I never really play with it too much because, <laughs> because, um, pretty much these cards these days they can handle just about anything and right out of the box I know people like to do their overclocking and push stuff to the limit just so they can push it to the limit okay um on the support bracket in the back you can see that it's joined together it has a little frame built on that's kind of different added support it's basically three bays it's going to take up. It's probably 2.7. Um, I know the larger cards, like the 3070, 3080, they have, this has three displays, one HDMI. And the larger cards have an extra HDMI over the other one on the Strix. One, two, three, four, six pipes inside. I mean, they've got that. I haven't seen any videos on much on this as far as what I'm doing right now. I'll tell you, that is probably one of the, I, I thought the, the, the Sapphire was a beautiful card. This is just, it's gorgeous. Okay, as far as the specs go, of course we all know that it's um, 6700 XT, PCI 4.0, OpenGL. It has 12 gigs of DDR6. 
versus the 16 on the 68 and 69. It would have been nice if they would have used DDR6X, which is a higher grade, better performing uh, memory, but this is pretty much standard across the... I did have it on one card. I can't remember if it was the MSI. I'm not sure. Anyways, um, yes, it has an overclock mode of up to 26, 22 megahertz boost clock of 2568 game clock and 2622 20, boost clock slash 5 2548 game clock okay there's a lot of stuff um stream processes hmm 2560 versus nvidia's NVIDIA calls their version of that, they call it CUDA Cores 5888. Little difference there. But it'll still do 4K all day long. The 68 goes up to a memory speed of 16 gigabytes or gigabards or however they want to call that, gigabits. And this is kind of funny because it's higher it has less CUDA, it doesn't have CUDA cores, it has the other speed that they go by. But their memory speed on the 3070 is 14 gigabits. So it's lower than this. So they kind of trade off in some areas, it's, it's interesting. It falls, the card definitely falls somewhere in between I would say NVIDIA's 3060 Ti and their 3070. And we're talking all, let's keep it in all in the Strix area. If we get into some of the other, like um, the Founders Edition and stuff like that, the numbers all definitely start to change up a little bit. Alrighty, accessories, of course, we have the Velcro hooks, one card and a manual. Software it comes with Asus GPU tweak drivers, blah blah blah. That's all downloadable, it doesn't come in it. Um, the dimensions on it are pretty impressive. Again, I don't do millimeters, but we have 12.68 long, 5.5 wide, long, and 2.2. So, I've actually seen some cards like the founders edition is actually a little bit bigger than this that's odd it looks bigger than 2.2 i wonder what the 3070 is probably the same thing Two point two seven. so it's a little that's more actually that's more what i was thinking 2.25 2.2 all right so it's pretty close two eight pins it takes up 2.9 slots. Let's call it three. Why don't they just round it off, people? Round it off. Um, I almost wanted to put this baby in. I know in Battlefield, Call of Duty, and some of the other games that this really specializes in where they're not using ray tracing, it, 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 it crushes it, no problem. Um, of course it doesn't have ray tracing but to be honest with you again to go back to ray tracing and DLSS great technology it's 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 fantastic that they have it but it's just not been implemented into enough programming to where it's even considered something that's almost like you have to have because at this point you can go into games and if you're gonna be running in if you're gonna be running ray tracing, you're not gonna use it in your games unless you wanna sit back and just watch how nice it can look. If you want performance, you're gonna shut uh, ray tracing off. Cause you're not gonna get the same performance. The DLSS, the deep learning, I mean, 
the AI program, yeah, that, that's pretty much a great thing to have because it does, it does its little thing in the background and, and gives you nicer frames, gives you a cleaner looking picture, richer colors. But again, AMD's um, answer to that is something totally different, which works, I would say, almost as well. Um, so once I, once I, now that I've done this review and I get a little time over the weekend, I'm definitely going to pop it in and, um, I'm going to do something with it, see what I can get for numbers of my own. Right now I'm quoting probably 10 other ones that I've seen, so I'm probably not going to get something much, much different than what I'm already telling you as far as the game and go, like I said, it. It's, it, has out, it's, it has performed, in some of them I noticed, right up close to the 3080. It's outperformed the 3070, and it stayed right up with the 6800 in some games and in some programs. Not all. Bad news again, NVIDIA AMD. Forget about that mass retail, that MSRP. It's not happening, people. They made an announcement yesterday on the 25th that cards are even going to become harder to get until maybe sometime in 2022 or later, and the price is going to go up. Car companies are literally shutting whole lines down so they can have meet supply and demand for the uh, for these uh, for the, for the chips for the wafers. It, it's it's unbelievable, but. It is what it is. I think this card's probably going for close to what they had said it was going to come out at. It's definitely not. Right now it's going for like $700 when they said it was going to be, what, $499 or $479 or something like that. I don't think we're ever going to see them prices. It's a shame. But anyways, all right, I just wanted to touch base. Put a little something something on my YouTube channel. Clean this video up. Get it uploaded. And um, I'm going to be doing a build. I am definitely planning on doing a build. It's going to be pretty cool. I am going to do a complete MSI build. I'm still deciding on whether or not I'm going to go with a 5950 as a CPU. Or I'm going to go with the 11900K. I have my options of getting either or. I'm not going to go with a 3090, even though they're easier to get. I've got three of them here. Um, I am probably going to get and wait, and I'd like to get a Strix. I'd like to get a Strix. I want to make it as nice looking as possible. So I want it. Well, actually, I can't. It's going to be a complete MSI. I was thinking about doing Asus build, yeah. So I'm going to end up having to get a Game and Trio. And I'd love to get a 3080. I know I'm going to get one because I'm already on the list to get one. And that's going to be mine. Once they become more available, then I'll start stocking them. But I've got the water pump coming in. That MSI water pump, the 360. Gorgeous. What a nice looking water pump. I'm going to be using the uh, MSI board, the MSI case. The pump, the card, and I don't know what else they make. I know they, other than that, I know they make keyboards, peripherals, you know, monitors, stuff like that. I just might, if it's a whole package, that's the way I might go. But as far as the system build itself, and then I think I'm probably going to do a little thing on my YouTube channel where it's going to be a um, get it at cost lottery type thing help somebody out there so we'll see how that goes all right i gotta wrap this up everybody stay safe summertime's around the corner hoorah yes i am psyched it seems like everything's starting to get a little bit smoother with this virus thing people are getting shots and since the democrats took over <laughs> The virus seems to be going away all of a sudden. Yeah, I don't know about that, but um, 
anyways, it, it is going to work its way out eventually like everything else does. This isn't the first pandemic humans have been through it and it won't be the last. All right, everyone. It was great. Great coming back. Great talking, everyone. I want to do more of these in the future. I am going to be setting up a nice, nice system where I'm going to have the camera more in front of me. I am going with the regular camera setup as far as like you see on tele on on YouTube. That is at B and H Photo. It's already there on hold. I've got to get the lenses, the stand, some things. My back wall is being wallpapered. It's going to have some lighting. It ain't going to be crazy ARGB like this. I know the ARGB makes it go like 50 frames faster. No, joking. Um. Yeah, so it's going to be pretty cool. It is going to be pretty cool. It's going to look pretty good. And I think I'm even going to start getting into my buddies are going to hook me up and show me. I've never done um, gaming streaming, so I'm, I want to start doing that a little bit. And on that note, I am blasting. Everyone have a good day. Peace out.